Check it out. My kids bought me this shirt. Godzilla Kitty. It's pretty hip. Okay. I know I've been teaching you how to make a lot of pot pies and stuff. And I swear this is the last one I'm going to show you how to make. But I'm going to show you how to make a beef pot pie using dollar store ingredients. Food bank ingredients. I'm going to turn that light off. Now it's dark. I'm going to turn it back on. All right. Whatever. I'll just try to... I just... I feel bad at all glaring in your face all the time. Anyhow, you know the drill. We got these... Uh, when we yesterday, we crushed up those crackers. Well, here they are. Here they are again. We're going to use them for a crust for the pie. So we're going to... Pour them into the... Oh! You know what I mean? And add some water to them. This is a pretty simple recipe. We're just going to use a can of uh, dollar store beef stew, a couple packs of the old ramen noodle. Speaking of which, hold on. I forgot my ramen noodles, so I had to go get them. All right, so we're just yeah, making the, the cracker crust I've showed you how to make before. You know, if you want to, you can add whatever, whatever you can crush up and smash up, you can add to this stuff too. You know, you can also use, uh, if you ever get like dehydrated potato flakes or anything like that. You can, that'll work. Anything you can, you know, make into a... The crust, right? And that looks about proper. So we're going to throw in the microwave. I always use the microwave because I'm just trying to show you how to use things that are easily accessible. And often a microwave is easier accessible and more easy to use than a traditional oven. So I'm going to throw that in the microwave for a little bit of a minute. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. Now for this we're going to use uh, two of these ramen noodles. I'm going to crush them up. This is a recipe, you know, you can eat for a couple days or feed your family with or whatever, man. Makes a lot, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I always got my shank, man. You never want to be the guy fighting the bag. Fighting the bag. It's just not cool in a lot of situations, you know. Sometimes you're cooking for people you don't know. You know, if you were working in a restaurant, you wouldn't go licking people. Food, right? Same idea. You know, even though these are uh, you know, kind of weird recipes, very clean. Should 
drawings, man. Count the times. How many ramens I have crushed in my life. Alright. Okay, and the seasoning packet. I'm serious, I'm going to start collecting these. We're only going to use one of them in this recipe. Water's going, so I'm gonna put it on the noodles. Get them all cooking. All right. Got a couple dollar store pickles here, and I cut up with my shank. I was saying, you gotta eat your greens, man. You gotta eat your green vegetables. What's a pickle? It's a green vegetable. That's my microwave telling me. Get, get your stupid crap out of the microwave, Pat. All right. It's looking good. You know what? I got the time. So I'm gonna... Microwave this crust a little bit. Just cause. Just cause I can. Okay, so the, the key ingredients in this beef stew are a can of, or, a, or beef pot pie, I mean, are a can of Puritan $1.25 beef stew. And your ramen noodles, and your uh, your pickles. You're gonna throw them. In. So this this actually has more vegetables than most of the things that I've shown you, I guess. And, well, like, I don't know. Doritos are a vegetable, but you know, you wouldn't argue that with your mom. Crust is crusty now. How swole are these noodles here? I think these noodles will likely do. We're going to drain them off a bit though. So it's not. So then we're going to add the beef stew to the noodles. And the pickles to the noodles as well. And the beef stew. One ramen seasoning packet. Shanked open. Meth end of town style. And I'm going to mix all this up. And I tell you, I'm probably not going to post a video for another day or so after this, because this is all the food I'm going to need for another day or so. Okay, so now we take this stuff. Oops. And we are going to put it in the pot pie crust. 
as we do. We might even have a little left over. Let's just see if we can get it all in here. I'm going to scrape some of that. Do something else to this. Okay, so we got that going. Now I told y'all a few recipes ago, uh, I showed you how to make an enchilada when we took a bunch of these cheese crackers and scraped the cheese out of them and I was going to make something with the crackers that we scraped the cheese off of. Remember these guys? Hi guys! Hi! Hi! Yeah, here we go. So, as usual, let me crush them up. Crush, crush, crush. Anger, it's like anger management cooking in the meth end of town. You're just, just destroying things. Sprinkle that on top of your pot pie. Okay. Yeah, seriously, this will like feed. If I was making this, I could feed both my children and have some myself and then also have some left over. I'm more than sure. And kids love this shit because it's all cheese crackers and ramen noodles. You know, it's all salty. It's very salty. I gotta say, if you have issues with salt, you probably shouldn't cook in the meth end of town. That's cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down. Out of the way, wash my hands. And we're, I'm going to pause because I'm running out of time. Microwave done, ready to go. And I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna take a bite. Uh, so yeah, beef beef pot beef ramen pot pie. North South End and blah, 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 blah. Meth End of Town style. So yeah, it's beef pot pie. Take a little bite of it here. I'm gonna show you. How do we get there? Very hot. Man, that's good. I'll tell you. This is, I'm not going to have to cook now for a couple days because this is going to feed me for a couple days. But um, anyway, I think that's the last uh, pot pie I have to show you or whatever. I don't know. We'll see what the food bank gives me. I'm going tomorrow. Like the one I went to today was closed, but uh, got my shank here. Um. Well, I hope you dig it. I'll see you later. Have a good day.